We all know being first is hard. From first born to first graduate, first one up in the morning to the first time school drop off. Yeah, ne. First is hard, especially when you're your community's first mover. That's why we're putting first movers first, giving those who are shattering barriers the backing they need with Achiever, an offering that'll help them bank, borrow, save, insure, and enjoy great rewards to make their firsts last. Standard Bank, it can be. Pops is first. Uh, what's that English word when you reprimand someone? My brother, this is not the place to forget English words, bro. You wanted to say what's the English word for Kalimela? Yes. You literally said it, reprimand. You said what's the English word for reprimand? I teach people how to make a side uh, income hustle. Yo, English is boring, guys. Hey, I'm the first. Even you. Even you. Escape a white person. Even you. Even you. Uh, renting for the first time is not easy. Yeah. You're gonna sleep on the floor, you're gonna have a sponge, you know. Um, so you live in Midland? Manje, let jacket is a saw or we forgive us, Lee. Separate. No, it's a it, 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 no, saw. So. Yeah, so I come from Tembisa. Yo! Sorry, sorry, that came out. Do oh, we oh, oh, oh. have Tembisa in the house? Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, and I'm a LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. That's in my guest, I nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's in pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you all boy like friends like me. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call the boy boy like friends like me. Ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, applause! Yes! Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, cheese boys, cheese girls, the cheese, cheese gang. gang. Welcome to yet another episode of Popcorn and Cheese. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are discussing firsts. And I'm with none other than my co-pilot, right. my partner in crime, yeah. Inja Yeke, sure. dog of life. Come on. Is Inja the step? Is Inja the umchaivo? Is Inja the piano? Ding. Is Inja the podcaster? Online. Which one is this one? Zama poetry. Thank you. Please put your hands together. Help me welcome the one and only Robert Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know the president of the Yellow Bones, the fresh cut himself, ah, yeah, yeah. the pop of the pop ah, of yeah, the epopo yeah. dice, ah, yeah, yeah. but he does not play dice, but he always keeps it nice on the mic, even when it's twice. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who stands because he stands up and does stand up, please Which make some noise one? for Umpopo! Yeah. <laughs> what <is> Georgia? <laughs> And in the shadows, ladies and gentlemen, like a reminder of load shedding, please put your hands together for the man you hear but you never see, the one and only, Titi. Titi, turmeric. Thank, thank you for those three claps. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking firsts. Yep. We are talking about firsts. And for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, on Popcorn and Cheese, our first live audience. Yes. Yes! Make some noise for yourself! First time joke, having joke. a live audience. It's a special one. It's a special one. It's a special one. I yeah, no. re achieve. Mm. Re -achieve. Man, there's someone behind me. Mamela. Hey, man. <laughs> holding a camera. Imagine. There's someone behind you with a medium jean jacket, uh, Mara Pops. <laughs> ah, ah, man. Ah, man. Dog, it's, 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 it's first today. Yeah. We are achievers. Trust. Today we are setting the standard high. I see what you did there. And you can bank on that. Come on. Hey. All right. Hey. I mean, it can be. I mean. Just got to show some SP love. Hashtag it can be. It can be. And it can be you. It can be you. It also can be you. Come on. It's me. Come on. Yeah. It's me. It is you. Yeah. You know, it's it's The Paperic. The Paperic. The Paperic. Yeah. From Limpopo. Limpopo. Oh, to be exact. Oh, to be exact. Yeah. Do we have Limpopo in the house? Uh, uh. Oh, we have one guy. He said, ah, yeah, yeah. One guy from Liboahom. Yeah. Your family's there. We got a family from Liboahom. Make some noise yeah. on our side, ladies and gentlemen. Georgia. 
he, he hasn't heard from them for six it's years. It's been a while. It's been Bro, a while. Today we're celebrating really special people. Yeah. People who set the standards in their, you know, in their different line of work. What? They set the standard. I tried uh, to do uh, what you did. Uh, Don't die. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> How? Uh, don't. Ladies, do, yeah. Yeah, don't. No. The, uh, the uh, jokes uh, and the puns are standard. It's fine, but don't. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. You try this one. Nice. Yeah, no. So, ladies and gentlemen, today, talking about first, for the first time ever on Popcorn and Cheese, we are fully sponsored, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. And here today with us is the bank that sets all the standards high. It's. Standard Bank, ladies and gentlemen. And today they have a unique CVP that they're putting it out there to the public for all of you. It's about the Achiever CVP, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to get into it shortly because we want to know what your firsts are. Yep. And that's what the Achiever is all about today. Yeah. It's about that moment in life when you can have your first car. Your first house. Your first house. Yeah. Your first wife. I get you can love all. Ah, uh, your first wife. Ah, uh, 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 no, uh, I meant first time getting married. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm getting my first wife. Your first wife? Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Number one. <laughs> you also have your first wife. Right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Robot? Coming soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, it's all about firsts today. And ladies and gentlemen, our first guest yes. is uh, a lady who is the epitome of firsts. Please put your hands together for someone we cannot make fun of because today she is our blesser. Yes. Please. Put your digital hands together. Make some noise. Would Give it up for the one and only. Itu meleng matayla. Musha meleng matoho. She's also from Limpopo. She's Marketing Limpopo. brand manager Musha meleng matoho. Yeah. There she is. Yes. Aich. All right. Mamela. Yeah. Come on. Betile scarf. Online. Hi. Hi. Hi to me. How are you? Fine, thanks to you. Oh, thank you so much for... Can we just uh, get the audio right? Let's this get is, the audio. I bet this is the boss lady chief, eh? Yeah, One hey, mistake, is, yeah. you lose your job, eh? <laughs> All right. Yes. Is she cool? Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Tumi! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ostumi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks to you, boss. Welcome to Popcorn and Cheese. Thank let let me be much. the first to say you have a beautiful smile. Yo. Hey. hey, being a blesser is nice, ne? Hey. <laughs> Compliments left, right, and said. No, but it's not lying. Yeah, we don't lie, we tell the truth. And you can bank on that. Oh, see what you did there! Since you also, you can't be saying people uh, have nice smiles. You said you have a first wife now. Yeah. No, I got a first. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the first compliment. Yeah, I understand. We yeah. see you. I'd like, like, I'd like to call it your order first. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Ask me a slow man. Ask kiss. Ask kiss. Ask kiss. Hey. Can't do it so fast. That is Bob Pops' first. Uh, what's that English word when you reprimand someone? My brother, this is not the place to forget English words, bro. Yes, <laughs> You wanted to say what's the English word for Kalimela? <laughs> yes. You literally said it, reprimand. You said, what's the English word for reprimand? So that was the first time you get <laughs> reprimanded on the show. <laughs> to me, please talk to us about your firsts. What is a unique first that sticks out for you? I think um, if I think back, I'm thinking of several. Yes. Um, the one that set the course for my life, I think, um, was my obviously uh, tertiary qualification, mm -hmm. my first degree. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wait, there's, there's more. But wait, there's more. Were wait, you the first in your more. family to, to get a degree? Yes, I'm the eldest oh, wow. at home. Wow. Um, wow. So. <laughs> So I was the first to actually go to university and study full time. My mom, I did have qualifications, but it was always correspondence. It was after she had us. Yes. And of course, after I got my degree, she was even inspired you know, to go. I think she had diplomas, so she also got her own degree. Um, but it was literally a first, right? Yeah. Um, 
And as I mentioned earlier, it definitely changed the course of my life. I'm sitting here with you as an executive at Standard Bank. Uh, I, come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> come on. Executive. I'll oh, say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Yes. And, you know, I'm not saying that to brag or anything like that, but I just recognize that that's where my course was set. And mm -hmm. um, I think what was important for me is that I gave my younger siblings, cousins, permission to also achieve their firsts. You know, nice. yeah. I said, it's, it's okay, it's doable. You know, I did it, you can do other things, other more amazing things. You are the example you know? and you set the standard. And you set the standard, absolutely. Yeah, nice. So that was the first serious one. Okay. And then of course, if my first had small babies, of course. There uh -huh. were other firsts that I followed through. And of course, I had a first car, but we're not talking about that now, you know? Starter pack. I, I had my pack. own starter Nelly pack. Uno. Nelly was it a queen? queen? Was it a Renault <laughs> queen? By any chance, Renault <laughs> queen. It was a polo. I it was a polo. polo. Classic. I know. Okay, yeah. yeah no, but, we're, but we're not talking about that. Okay. Okay. We're talking about the real first for me. Yes. Right? Oh, okay. Everyone's first is, you know? Um, I remember I had a cousin who worked for BMW. Uh, he was a sales uh, manager, so... You know how they always drive these fancy cars? Yes, know? yes, yes, yes. And yes. Uh, while I was still driving my Polo, you know, I remember the one time we went out and he got me to drive his car at the time, I'll tell you, because I ended up having it, right? Oh, uh, it became my first. And I just couldn't believe the performance of this car. So my first luxury car was a G3. I Come on. I, come on. A G3. A G3. B. BMW, you Baba. You can tell, I don't think that's 2000. You can tell you an experienced BM driver. You call it by its nickname. Yes. A G3. G3. Yes. No, that's what you and must do, Chief. Eh? So we had the qualification and we, of course, had the vehicle, right? Um, and we talk about one generation living better than the last. That's that. Yes. Yeah. Breaking the generational curse. <laughs> so I'm a mom. And I think what really um, touched me was when I was able to take my son to Disney a couple of years ago, you know. Disney um, on ice, more. No, <laughs> Mona, hey, hey, Mona. Disney World. Disney. The real the Disney, 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 World. Disney. Disney. World. Yeah. Isn't ice more Kempton? Ah. More Kempton, Mickey Mouse, but Shaka the ice cake. Ah. You're more Spider-Man. You're Spider-Man, you're not Disney. Because then we choose, imagine. Ah. Yeah, so I guess those are my first, you know, being able to also give the next generation something that even yes. I didn't And how's that experience seeing, seeing, seeing them the in joy. Disney World? It's, it's, it's the ultimate childhood experience. I think yes. I even had more fun than he did, you know? Oh, um, That's so, so I guess we want to be the bank. You know, that, those memories that I mentioned, I, I can't explain the moment I saw my parents seeing me graduate. You mm -hmm. can't put any form of words to that. It, yes. And like I said, it changed the trajectory of my life, my family, my siblings. And that feeling, the adrenaline of getting the car that I never thought I could mm. have. Yes. Um, and finally, seeing my son experiencing that trip. For me, those things you can never put uh, a price to. And yeah. I'm privileged and honored to be part of a bank that is proud to support that. You know, yes. at Standard Bank, I've been with my first year at Standard Bank. There's yeah. the first. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. 12 months. And you're the first born at home. And the eh? first born at home. Ah, we're number 21st. And working with the team, obviously, Mutlati, um, Shadow, Lauren, the whole squad, uh, MNC Sachi was an uh, ad agency. Yeah. We went into people's, you know, we, we sat with achievers. Uh -huh. and got to understand what is it about their lives, what drives them, because we didn't want to just bring uh, an offering like another, another banky thing, right? Mm -hmm. We wanted to be authentic. We wanted to make a difference. And above all, we wanted to, to, to help generations live better. You know, at Standard Bank, we say Africa is a home. We drive her we growth. We drive her growth, yes. Because we're the largest bank in Africa in terms of yes. assets. So Come on, somebody. We're not being arrogant Biggest bank in Africa. That. Best bank in Africa. <laughs> Standard Bank. And it we're not be. saying it out of arrogance. We're saying with great power comes great responsibility. True. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so we, we saw on that I certainly am to be able to sit here and say we came up with a proposition, not because we, as a bank we want to make money, but because we want to be a, a significant part of people's journeys. Yeah. 
Yes. And I think I've said a mouthful. Thank no, you. no, 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 no. Thank saying... you for that, because because you were explaining exactly what the achiever offering is. Yes. So when, if, if 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 people are watching out there, the cheese boys and cheese girls and everyone that's watching out there, they now understand what this achiever offering is. Yes. And who it's designed for. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, that's what it is, and I think um, South Africans achievers can look forward to an exciting campaign um, as a team. We want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to express themselves. Everybody has an opportunity to have their stories their or first celebrated. Uh, mm -hmm. Your first is not my first and so on. Yeah. Um, and we're excited to be launching our um, partnership with SMAC. So I think you'll hear more about that this afternoon. We've got a cover stars. Yes. Um, nice. And please, during breaks and so on, people can take pictures. There's a cover there. Um, All right. Because the whole idea is we want to make our achievers famous. We want to make people who think their lives are ordinary. We want to make them extraordinary. Oh, yes. And not just our cover stars, because our cover stars have actually been doing amazing things. Yeah. But every single South African, there's an achiever in every single South African. Irrespective oh, of your powerful. background, your income level, everyone has done something for the first time. Come on. Come on. A brand marketing manager, Yako Standard Bank. Are, there is an achiever in, in all of us, ladies and gentlemen. African. You too are an achiever. Please share with us what are your firsts. Let us know in the comments. And who knows, you too could be an achiever. Ostumi, Rale Boja, thank you for joining us here on Popcorn and Cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause. Round of applause. Shalini <laughs> Zanta. <laughs> Talking about firsts. My dog. My dog. Do you know my first bank? How old were you when you got your first bank account? How old was I? I was in first year. First year, was it? Yeah. Guys, I'm the last boy, and only boy at home. They used to spoil me, yabo. Yeah, I've always been a cheese boy. Aich. See what you did there. Hey, hey. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. So, first year. So, I got my first bank account at the age of 10, bro. 10? 10 years old. My mom, who's a school teacher, got me my first uh, bank account at Standard Bank Southgate. Pops, how old are you? I have been with Standard Bank for 25 years. Ladies you. and gentlemen. Adam Shapelang yes. Masoho, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Wadi Georgia. Wadi Georgia. They are jealous people. That wasn't enough hand claps. Shapang yeah. Masoho, Lona Man. No, because at 10, my man, we are playing football there on the grass. When the I jealous hear. ones are probably from the other, you know. <laughs> from the other ones. Yeah, the ones that have home affairs lines outside the ATMs. Ah, ah, the ones with black cards, they are not black cards. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Which ah. one are these ones? Ah, 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 pops. So, ladies and gentlemen, remember, we are talking about the topic of firsts today. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So well, my first city looks like it's a my, story. My, yeah, no, I, I, I want to say some. My first bank account was a money box that my uncle who drinks too much stole. Yeah. Yeah, so, like you know when you have a money box, then one what, day my what, pig, what kind of a box? Was so it wasn't a a, it wasn't your first bank account. It was a money uh, box. Yeah. Oh, a piggy bank. A pig. It was a pig. A money box. Hey, my uncle rocked that pig, yo. And you could tell he was too impatient because he broke that pig. Oh, it was, a, it was a, Samar it's a, it's a ceramic one? Yeah. No, it was a plastic one, but he, like, he knocked it until the money thing was open and you could, you know, indulge in my Whoa. coins. Hey, man, I've oh, only oh, seen oh. those things in movies. You so had a pig? Still... I had a pig, yes. A, a piggy box. A plastic pig? No, yeah, a plastic pig bought from... For your money? Yeah. How much? Yeah? Yeah? I mean, I had my money in there. Like, I, I obviously didn't count it, but I knew it was more than what I could take to school at one time, you know? How, much, how much would you say the value of the coins you had in there More was? than five boxes of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what your uncle bought. Because that guy was smoking the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know someone, you know someone has stolen money when they're doing strange things. I'm sure you were smoking too at the same time. <laughs> We can <laughs> tell the money is not his. <laughs> There's no value. <laughs> but he still left the piggy and bank. And he sent me to buy these cigarettes. Imagine With that. your money. <laughs> oh. When I was holding these cigarettes, I'm like, this money sounds, it feels familiar, this money. Was that your first experience with criminal activity? Exactly. It was my first. <laughs> it set the standard. <laughs> 
So ladies and gents, talking about first, who do we have up next? Oh then? no, we have a lineup of amazing guests, my brother. I, 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 we've got a guy, we've got Logan, Logan and, and Ross, Ross Taylor. Logan and Ross Taylor. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow standard bankians, cheese boys, cheese girls, cheese gang, give it up for the one and only Logan and Ross. Ice. 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 What's going on? You good? Shout out, shout out. Ice. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, so, so, so just so everyone knows, you are uh, Ross. No, Logan, you are Ross. Ross yes. All right, so Logan is the... With fashionista. He's a fashionista. He's a fashionista yeah. wearing, yeah. wearing the, the dishcloth shirt. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> and Ross is the well. leather hey, pilot he's a, he's jacket. He's a former taxi driver. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, former taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Ross, you're Kuluma. Spari, I'm here, bro. i no, nah, no doubt. Welcome right. to it, ladies. Welcome uh, to it, uh, Ross Logan. Please uh, quickly tell us uh, who you are. Let the people know who you guys are or what you do. All right, I'm Ross Turner. Um, oh. I'm Ross Turner. Yeah, next person. I'm talking. Um, so yeah, I am an entrepreneur. I teach people how to make a side uh, income hustle. Yo, English is going, guys. Yo. Uh, hey, I'm the first. <laughs> even it's you. the first. To, side to even you. English escape a white person. <laughs> Our English is gone, guys. Problem. But I, I help people um, how to start a business here in South Africa. That's what I do. And uh, we have an e-learning platform teaching people how to, you know, uh, do IT here in South Africa. You can go check it out. Let's uh, plug in myself. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, plug. No, do the things. No, no plug. Plug. Well, plug. there's electricity. Speaking of plug, hey, my man, fix yeah. the English you on can, this guy's mind. What's going on? send a shout out. <laughs> hey, my yeah. man. And Which one is this one? Oh, nice. Yeah. Do some marketing. Shout out. Logan, my bra. What's up, guys? Is this real? Nine, nine. It's bro. real. Taste, taste, taste. Don't be shy. What flavor is that? Salty. Aich. Very salty. Um, what's up, guys? My name is Logan Lawson. Um, I'm an operational coordinator. I don't have much to tell as Ross did. He, you coordinate he operations? Yes. Like uh, in the ER when someone Which is... Which one is this one? When someone yeah. is doing surgery, you say, yeah, take the hat, put it, what do you do? What's... No, 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 not that. Operations, uh, like, operations. Yeah. So, in order for them to coordinate, there needs to be operations that operate the coordination. 100%. Okay. 100%. So, you, you don't model? I do. Okay. I do. Um, funny enough, I was a model, and I hope I'm not jumping the gun, I was a model very, from a very young age. I've seen you. Yeah. You used to do the brute adverts, ne? He was the first child to have a smelly lukwapa. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? Advertise. So yes, you do a bit of male modeling? Yeah, modeling, acting, presenting. Okay, okay. All, all round. All round. Nice. Shout out. Wait, so, when did you first like realize that your style specifically was different from the people around you? In terms of fashion? Yes. Um, so, let me tell you this. I, I grew up in the south of Johannesburg. In Away, south Away, boy. South yeah. Boy yeah. represent. Listen to this. In Alvarado Park. Oh, and, yo, um, that's... Uh, you know in The Lion King when Simba asks, and that place? Uh-uh, Pops. <laughs> we don't go there, Simba. Be El careful, be careful. That's Eldorado, Eldorado Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. That's um, where they made those cars. Uh -huh. <laughs> so fashion is different. Um, the fashion is completely different. So I was, you know, obviously I'm light skinned. I'm in El Dorado Park. Um, I used to blow my hair out, and people used to think that's that's weird, you know. To have but straight I, hair in Eldos. Yeah, we do, bro. Like it's not, no, I'm fun. saying, did they think it was weird to have straight hair in Eldos? <laughs> yeah. So you had a GHD before. Before, yeah, oh, before okay, my mother okay. did, but. Um, yeah, so, so I used to do my egg. My fashion was always on point. Um, but my inspiration came from myself, man. You know? Uh, what I felt like wearing that particular day. They say if you look good, you feel good. And so, it was a first for many because people weren't used to it, right? Yeah. Now, now if you look at, if you look at uh, when, you, when, you, when you look at it now, a lot of people follow you and they copy your style, they take tips from you. Yeah. But at first, it was weird for other people, right? Yeah. 
And then tell us in Bryanston, was it the same? <laughs> oh, no, hey, I'm from Durban. Did you hey? also do I'm things with your hair? That, uh, uh, no, hey, I'm from Durban. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Durban. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so tell us, tell us about, about your unique first, uh, my brother. Like, when did, you, when did you realize that there was a gap for what you do? Well, um, I, I realized over the past seven months that I had quite a lot of firsts. So it's the first time that I've ever moved out of my house, relocated to Johannesburg from Durban. Uh, renting for the first time is not easy. Yeah. You're going to sleep on the floor. You're going to have Eastbound, you know. Um, so you live in Midrand? I don't know where I live. I'm, I'm new to Joburg, so Modderfontein, I think. Modderfontein? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. okay. okay. Modderfontein. It's next to Midrand. By, by, Green, by Greenstone. That's it. That's there it. we go, yeah. yeah. It's the Midrand of yeah. Johannesburg. Of that side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where would 50 Cent live if he lived in, in South in Africa? In Randburg. Midrand. Definitely others. Uh, uh, Randburg also, because... Uh, uh, Midrand okay, is 50 Cent. Where would Mike Tyson live? Ladies and gentlemen, vote for Boxburg. which one is <laughs> the best one. Is it Randburg or, or, or Midrand? Randburg. Ah, yes! Randburg. Where would 50 Cent live if he lived in South Africa? Wait. Randburg. Midrand. Rand. Mid Rand Rand. is but where the 50 eats. Oh, Emma. Yeah, but what, Mike Tyson is also in Boxburg. What are you saying? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, gents. Let us focus. As achievers, because to me, said there's an achiever in all of us. When was that first moment that you knew that your life, your life has changed now? Like you are, you are moving on to the next thing. What significant thing happened in your life that let you know I'm on the cusp of moving to greatness? So, um, going back to the story I told earlier on, I been in modeling, been in fashion, been in um, straight A. Straight A. Now GHD. you're on a different wave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, so, yes, man. Um, so, from, from being a model, I then grew the passion for being on radio. So, I went uh -huh. into radio for a couple of years. Um, whilst doing that, I was then um, doing stage production as nice. well. Doing stage production, that's when I found my passion for presenting. So, um, I then, you know, saw when for, you know how it is when you go for castings. Mm -hmm. and you get denied, and denied, 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 denied. And one day I got a call back. They're like, um, we like this guy. He's the first guy on, um, the first lighting complexion guy on Soweto TV. Love Yay. it for me. Aye! Yes. Ladies and Love gentlemen, <laughs> talking about fests, the first yellow bone on Soweto TV. <laughs> what a judge. Adjust your brightness at home. <laughs> Logan is here. <laughs> And what show are you presenting there? Um, we are Jola C7C7. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Bobs. Uh, uh, Bobs. We are uh, in Mapeta. <laughs> we did fine out there and see. <laughs> hey, don't run out, we caught you. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, man, uh, more or less, nice, more or less that's how the story started. Um, so I left, I left that um, on the side for a yeah. while. And uh, my, life, my life completely changed when I went into corporate. Uh, it, took, it took a major turn, but obviously with, with that, yeah. you have, um, there's a couple of sacrifices that you have to make and changes from what you were once used to and um, accustomed to and then adapting to the new life. Because I mean, I'm an entertainer by nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just who I am. Um, I love interacting with people. So I, I, found, I found a way then to use both the entertainment and my ability as a leader and combine the two. So when I went into corporate, I nailed it. Yes. I, I nailed nice. it, completely nailed it. Nice. Yeah. So that was a turning point for me. Shout out. And you, Um Ross? Uh, um. <laughs> um, yeah, for, for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a, a dark side, right? In order to see your successes, you've got to learn from the challenges that you've had. Mm -hmm. And so not to go into too much detail, um, 
I was a YouTuber back in the day in 2014. Yes, yes, yes. Um, failed miserably, but I was m able to start an income for myself. What, what type I, of content are you producing on YouTube? Um, exposing forex traders, but don't don't tell them, please. Uh, hey. Yeah, expo yeah. Ex hey. exposing hey. forex hey. traders. Was the juke juke hey. for forex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are trader nine nine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Welcome to another episode of your Trader Nine Nine. <laughs> <laughs> and then it led into uh, how to start a business here in South Africa. But at the time, you know, I was earning like a thousand rand a month, and then I met this one over here. She's hiding. Um, hey, which one is this one? Which one? Oh, is? sorry, sorry, sorry. Which my, one is this one? My hey. one and only. Yeah. My one and only. Ah. Your first. Your and first. She changed me. What's yes. her name? What's yes. her name? They can't see her. Sam Kilesi Wengema. Some girl is even gamer. To see Mkomo, Matogovo, Moody. I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, Ross, yeah. Ross, can I can I change your name to Loss? Ah, uh, no problem. Because. In Zulu, Zulu, yeah. Yeah. Zulu, and, yeah. Zulu and the letter R is not about yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, lost. Like yeah. when I'm that side, they call me Lobot. <laughs> yeah, so you'll, yeah. you'll be lost from now. But it explains the leather jacket. Now I see. Yeah. I see you for real yeah. now. Thank you. Thank I know you, you now. Thank you. <laughs> I know the real you now. Yeah. Yes, yes, lost. Yes, lost. So, yeah, she completely changed my life because I was living happily at home in a garage, a broken garage with leaking roof. And I was like, no, man, I can't do this for my one and only. So she really pushed me. Um, and I first know, love. Yeah, first, first love for sure. I uh, fell deeply in love with, uh, yeah, OK, let me change the subject before it gets too touchy, yeah? But um, yeah, so I, I progressed. I pushed myself as much as I could in life. Um, uh, and hopefully, well, for sure, we'll have a family one day. Yeah. Um, I, first born. I, 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 yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to call him first, Trevor? Yeah. Hey. No? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I really realized that when I could double my income within a short space of time, and now I'm, you know, 4x, my, my own income from everything that I do. Remember, never to give so up So 4,000 a month. Now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, you can't pay La Bola on nice 4,000 a month. Ah, yeah. This one said you can't pay La Bola on 4,000 a month. <laughs> you can't, you can't. But um, yeah, so I would say that my first times led to all the challenges that I faced in my life. Yes. And I'm very thankful for everyone in my life. Um, yeah. Especially, especially, some yeah. You're the first loss to ever get a win. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that. Which one is this one? Yeah. Ladies so, and gentlemen, so this man is red now. Oh, you, you're blushing. For me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd have It's a standard say. feature. Uh, <laughs> I thought you guys didn't have uh, white keys at uh, Eureka yeah. Primary. No, in Limpopo. <laughs> we had to travel far to see a white. Do you understand? <laughs> so, thank no, you, no, sir. I, no, we, we grew up with white friends. You know? Oh, okay. When they're happy, they turn red. Yes. When they have one glass of wine, they turn red. Okay. It's a feature. Oh. It's a feature. When the sun is out, red. Oh. When someone switches off the aircon in the office, red. Oh. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think let's give it up to Logan and Ross. Ross. Let's give them yeah. a big round of applause. <laughs> gentlemen, thank you for sharing your first. Thank you so much. All right, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that was uh, Logan, the first to have straight hair in his community, and the one and only Ross, Ross. the first man with a leather jacket from... <laughs> I, I wonder uh, if he's the first in the interracial relationship in, in his De family. No, 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 it's Durban, it's Durban. Oh, in his family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you think you oh, think you think Ross's family every now and again? Oh, okay. Tabi saying. Oh, woman, no, it's not. Oh, woman, no, it's not. All right. Let me fix this head quickly. Yeah, I know the pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So that the other the other podcast. Logan almost took the pillow with. Ah. 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 No, no, man, no. As a, as, as a guest, I think they deserve this pillow. Uh -uh. They almost took a dark turn there. <laughs> no, no other podcast gives their guests pillows. And that's why they're sleeping on us. Yeah. 
Oh, hey. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in, then welcome to an exclusive episode of Popcorn and Cheese, proudly brought to you by Standard Bank Achiever. Standard Bank, it can be. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I'd like to introduce our next guest. It's the one, the only, none other than... A teacher. Aha! By day. A teacher, yeah. Yeah. A teacher Delino, by day. A teacher, yeah. A teacher by day. Yeah, he's a teacher with and Tandi, who's a nurse. All right. Yeah, so we are around uh, working essential workers. All right. <laughs> Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen <laughs> when our country and the world was facing dark times, these were the two people that soldiered on the front line, the essential workers. Please put your hands together and help us welcome... Danilo, Danilo and Tandi. Danilo and Tandi. Dalino. Hi, Dalino. How are you? Very good. I, are, you, nurse, my... are you the nest? The uh, nest. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 robot. The we live in a new world. Pops. All right. Oh, are oh, you the nurse? Mm. You're the teacher. There's your mic, my lady. Welcome to Popcorn and Cheese. Thank you for Thank having you. us. All yes. right. Okay, so a little bit about you, my brother. What kind of a teacher are you? What do you teach? Well, I'm a primary school teacher. Oh, nice. From KZN. Oh, okay. And I teach grade two. Oh. Grade two. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. Away. <laughs> My lady, tell us, tell the people who you are and what is your profession? What do you do? Okay, um, my name is Tandi Matibela and I'm all the way from Refilwe in Kalinen. I'm a nurse. I'm a professional nurse and I'm working in a trauma unit currently. Oh, that is oh, beautiful. Round of applause. Oh, we... hallelujah. Aish, exactly. Amen. We appreciate everything that you do. All right, guys. Daliso, my brother, I'm going to start with you. We're talking fests today. We are talking fests. Do you know what's the interesting thing about Dalino? Yeah. Recently bought his first car. Dalino. Hey. <laughs> Dalino. Ever pa. Ever pa. Yeah, you just went and exposed me, but okay. Did no, you just get a verba? So it's not an exposing moment, it's an achieving moment. Achieving yeah. moment. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> no, anything that's yes, not a quid is an achievement. Ah. 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 Why? Why? There's passengers here, man. Come ah. on. Ah. Guys. Come on, man. Ah. My brother, tell us about uh, is, is, is it your first car or is it your first car of this kind? It's my first car. Yes. Your yes. first car is a Brpa. Yes. It I'm Shalini Zanda. <laughs> Come on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Menir, tell us about uh, this fest. Does it have a name? No. Uh, you haven't named it yet? No, but my learners call it Snow White. Because we recently started doing a theme about, and I was like, okay, well, what's white? And they're like, your car is white. So now everyone calls it Snow White because it's white. Ah, okay. Tell us about the first time you got Snow White. <laughs> well, Did you sleep that night? No, I didn't. I was scared someone's gonna take it. Oh, I moved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, so were you scared. sitting outside on the garage? Yes. Dressed right. in full black, yes. holding a baton. Yes, and I'm with a flashlight. It's actually my first time here. So. Oh, it's oh, your first time in Joburg. Yeah, Welcome been here to before. civilization. Hey. 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 Mm -hmm. Hi, boy. Yeah. Hey! It's first time here. So Did you hear there's other music other than Com? Have you heard I'm a piano? Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, tell us about Snowy. And uh, yeah, tell us about uh, when you first got Snowy. Well, um, I didn't expect it to happen so soon, you know, because teaching isn't a profession that you do because you want to get rich, mm -hmm. you know. But I worked very hard and my dad advised me to go seek financial advice. Yes. You know, on how to build your credit name. And I went to Standard Bank, you know, and I got really good advice from them. So I built my credit score. It took me quite a while, you know, but when I was ready, I went and I got the baby. So. Aich! 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 Who was the first passenger you ever had in that car? My mother, thank Yay. you very much. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah! Thank you. 
Thank you. Hallelujah. I see what you did there. You're trying to uh, thank you. Yeah, no? <laughs> and who was the first passenger that was in your family in the car? I, the, my dog. <laughs> you put a dog in the car? Yes. Ay, <laughs> uh, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> My lady, from teachers to nurses, tell us about your unique fest. All the way, go Kalinen. For those of you who don't know, Otago, Rifilwe, go Kalinen. That is in Pretoria. Yeah. Yes. At the end of Pretoria, yes. like the end, the beginning. Just next to, just when you pass Mamiloti. Yeah. That's the river. That's what the river is based on, right? Yes. Oh, is that where they found the diamonds in the yeah, river? In the river. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, tell us, a Diamond in the Rough, about your first. Okay. Um, on the videos that I, I'm usually posting on my social media pages, I talk about um, many first moments that I've had. Okay. But um, the one that stands out for me mostly, it's the one when I was able to finally graduate oh. um, under very difficult circumstances Lord and shitty. finally being able to qualify as a midwife and work in a maternity ward because um, that's my passion. Seeing uh, mothers, seeing their babies for the first time, delivering the babies and seeing the faces of the mothers um, really gave me joy. And that's my first moment. Wow. <laughs> How many babies have you delivered so far? A lot of babies. A lot. Have, do you ever bump into some of them in the mall? <laughs> no. Yes! Yes! Some kumbula! <laughs> ah, pops. No. Ah, ah, yeah, guys. Ah. Pops, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Because the reason I ask, my, my mom is a teacher, right? My mom, my mom teaches grade two as well, funny enough. And my mom's been teaching for as long as I've been alive. Yo. Wow. So it's so weird seeing grown folk walk up to oh, my mom. Oh, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, Bobby. <laughs> oh, ma'am. So, my brother, it's your first time in Joburg. What was, what was the first thing that stood out about Joburg for you? Wow, the people here are very diverse. Yes. You know, KZN is just people who speak English and people who speak Isuzu. Yes, that's so it. So here, I couldn't communicate with my Uber driver in the morning, but I was so excited <laughs> because, you know, he was speaking a language that I've never heard spoken to me. Shona. In, you know, in, I don't know. Ah, uh, 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 you know? uh, 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 Pops, you think he got in the car? Hey, where are you going, my brother? What did it sound like? Ah, uh, uh, brother. What did it sound like? I honestly can't, you know, was but I was just one, there yeah. sitting like a kid in like a toy store just with the biggest smile on my face. And he was like, what is going on? And then I figured out he was asking me if I should get off or not. And I was just sitting there just looking at him. I was like, oh, this is nice, you know. <laughs> so the diversity has been very special for me. You know, nice. people from all over the place, you know, different cultures yeah. and languages and races as well, you know. Yeah. And people here are very friendly. Very. Yeah, I've had a very Come on, very welcome. friendly nation. Yeah. Round of applause. Come on. <laughs> yes. What Thank you. Jojo. My lady, how, how important is it for you to achieve what you've achieved coming? You know, you spoke about the difficult circumstances that you achieved what you did. Yeah. How important is it to you, to your family, to achieve what you have achieved? Um, for me, I would say that it, it is very important because, um, first of all, I am a mother. Yes, congratulations. So, um, someone is looking Did up to me. Did you deliver yourself? Uh, uh, ah! Which one is this one? It's oh, called, oh, called self-catering. Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. Yes, yeah, yes, so yes. DIY. As I was ah. saying, it's very important because there's um, someone who's looking up to me. Yes. And also, my family is depending on me. So it is in my best interest to make it a success and achieve whatever challenge that I come across. Ah, ladies and, and, and gentlemen. And your content, the content that you create, because I saw your content, it's quite lively. Yes. You know, I, I, I see you're very shy, and, but the content is very lively. Do you, do you show it to, to some of your trauma patients and, and, and it changes their, their day? And they're like, yo, forget the trauma. Let's laugh now. <laughs> No, um, one thing you should know about TikTok is um, when I do the... Okay, I'm a very shy person, yes. but I do TikTok when I'm indoors, when I'm alone, because it uplifts my spirits and it gives me a positive vibe. Yeah. So sometimes you find a patient would say, 
Karka Huizi, do I know you from somewhere? And I'm like, maybe from TikTok. And they'll be like, yeah. Then they'll pull up their phone and show me the video. So I don't show patients the video, but they do show oh, me. They recognize they you know from me. TikTok. Yes. Oh, That's nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's not like you're shooting the TikToks. Ah, uh, uh, Pops, because now... Uh, <laughs> I'll talk about TikTok, Nyana. Only I see you. Oh, ah. Who did you this one? The ICU challenge. <laughs> so, my brother, did you drive up here in Snowy or. No, I didn't. Oh, you took a flight? Yeah. First flight? I was scared. No. Okay. So no, it's his first, first time in Jobik, not his first flight. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Were you afraid that Snowy here was also going to. I didn't oh, sorry. No, um, I just wanted to experience. Also, I didn't know like the kind of activities we were going to be doing, so I didn't want a lot of, you know, baggage. If I can All right. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for sharing your stories. But most importantly, thank you for choosing the career paths that you've chosen. Yep. Um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you, you've been blessed to achieve the success that you've been able to achieve in your respected fields. But for what you do, you're very, you're an integral and important part to our society yep. and to the fiber of this nation. So for what you do, we applaud you, we salute you. And we ladies and you gentlemen, guys. and we thank you. Yes. yes, let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mashalini Santa, I'm a achiever way to say hi to Snowy for me, my brother. Yes. See you on TikTok, Ness. Ness, before Hamba. Yes. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about unique firsts today. Yep. What was that first moment where something changed in your life? Where, what was that moment that you that you realized, I'm no longer just boy. I'm robot boy. When did that happen in your life? Talking about first, ladies and gentlemen, our next guest. Hey, this one is, it's like we're doing royalty here. Come on, T. Sure. The first guest that I'm going to mention has names of two presidents. Uh-uh. Hey. One half of one and another half of another. Ah, uh, it's a hey. hybrid president. Imagine, Cyril Zuma. Zuma. Cyril Zuma. <laughs> Mshale ni Sanja. Hey, Cyril, Cyril Zuma. Zuma. Sandra. How do you imagine that? That is protocol observed. All no, protocol observe it, yeah, yeah. has been observed. And Ladies and gentlemen, guess. let's hear it for Cyril it's Zuma. Sanbonani, Sanbonani. Uh, to our guests who keep ordering coffee, please don't. Yeah, please do. Oh, is someone vacuuming there at the back? No, it sounds like a coffee machine. And we already have DJ uh, Brown Coffee here, so I don't think we. And the next, and then Cyril Zuma. All right. Uh, who we, do you who do you identify? We've got as? another guest. What Pops. do you identify as? Two Cyril seconds, uh, Mr. President. Two seconds. We've oh, got another yeah, guest. Your yeah. honourable. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the honourable. <laughs> right now we are followed by by legend. In we Kun actually saw this person perform at the at the thing we did in KwaZulu Natal. Inkuns Malang. No ways. Ways. Mum is here. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, Which one is this one? Mum ah, ah. best friend. Oh, yes. Mom Kisses, this guy is on Mom Kisses' playlist right now. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trending we are, songs. We are surrounded, we are in the presence of the one and only Kuzani. Kuzani! Nice applause for Kuzani. Kuzani! Ay, 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 all right, so in right. Ah, right. Ah, man. Honorable. Yeah, yeah. Leadership. Yeah. All right. It's it's like 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 so, gents, uh, we're going to start with you, Honorable. Please uh, tell us uh, who you are. Tell the people who you are and what you do for a living. 
Uh, my name is Cyril Zuma. I am an entrepreneur and also a photographer. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk about my first immediately self-plug myself. Yeah. I'm the founder of the first stock photo platform in South Africa that has images of black people. So check it out. Oh. Finally. Come on. Finally. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Finally. Jesus. You know, my gym has pictures of just white people on the treadmill. For, yeah, for sure. And you don't probably don't relate to them, right? I don't. Yeah, yes. exactly. Right. Before you, before you, before we clap for me, I need to plug myself, right? Please check out the website www.colorspace.co.za. www.colorspace. Color without the U. Color without me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my laughs> you know, it's because I've got three colors: red, yellow, green. Oh, so what ah. you did there, Nkabiam? I'll tell you to go see who you are, what you do for a living. Yeah, I will be the first one here to, yes. to, 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 uh, to speak Zulu. Eh? Yes. I will be the first. Kuluma. <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Kuzani. Yes. I'm from KZ and I'm the king of Maskandi, the president. Ah, yeah, 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 I was a security guard for four years. After that, uh, I, I, I was. Oh. Sorry? Because yeah. one figure, we greeted each other and then one said, What did you say? That's why, that's why his name is Kuzani. Because <laughs> ah. <laughs> we are Kuz. After that, in 2011, Yes. And I was the first Maskandi artist to fill up Moses Mapita Stadium. No ways. Come on. Come on. Come. Listen to those first, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, I have more than 18 awards. Uh. Yes. DSTV. Come on. Uh, most of you, uh, uh, viewers, viewers choice, viewers yeah. choice, summer, come on, all the awards I have, come on, summer, yes. winter, I autumn, I performed, spring. I performed even overseas, come on, Lesotho, Swaziland, uh, 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 Swaziland, oh, so, <laughs> why we say Swaziland? I am one of my so, uh. As I said, I was the first yes. artist yes. to fill up Moses Mabida. Yes. And Lelo Begui Pupolam. Sure. And I'm proud to go to today. I'm here. Yes. Because Gasa Benzaganzi Magozangibela and Corn. Yes. Gabonga Corn. Stella Putuam, what do, you said you used to be security. What did you use to guard back in the day? Like, there was a building here at Headfield in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. So I was a, a security guard there. And one day I received the, the newspaper. Yeah. It was Monday morning. Mm -hmm. I was on TV on Sunday. So all the people who worked in the building, they come down at the security. They said, it's not you. I said, I, I, it's not me. I'm going to show now. Or... Imagine get to go bang fagela mesh. Okay. Oh, yeah, imagine yeah. on front page of Soweten. I'm no front way. Page. I'm sitting here at the gate, you see. And I was shy to say, I know it's me. But I ended up saying, no. Other day I said, I know it was me. <laughs> and then <laughs> tell me, so that's, that's where your career started picking up, and it? Yes. When, when people started recognizing you yes. for what you do. Yes. When, in your opinion, what was your first hit, hit, the one that put you on the map? The, you, you mean the song? Song, yeah, your first hit. Ichele. 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 It was the song of the year in 2020. Was it about song of your the year. time when People you were in jail? People voted. Uh, uh, let me tell you, let me tell you. I was the first artist to be voted with 950,000 votes. Oh. Uh. In the FM. 950,000. Oh, thousand. Oh, yeah, nine hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, Titi Mara, man. Titi. I didn't finish. I was about to say thousand. Ah, uh, Titi. Yeah. I was the first one. Yeah. yeah. We voted nine hundred and fifty uh, thousand votes to uh, to one song of the year. Uh, I was number one. Then number two was Upikzu Limaleling. Oh yes, 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 yes. FM. Oh. Yes. Oh, so. The, so it was during that era. Yeah, I started to. Skyrocket. Skyrocket. Yeah. Yes. No, people... Which one is this one? People voted there with their money. 
which means lema laba vote ngayo ime iningi ngikuni aleka pixel <laughs> That's how you were supposed to say it. Yeah. Right, before before I continue, please fix the Zulu on that mic, chief. The sound guy. One question I've always wanted to ask: When did you realize, Guti? Guti, no mukulo wa kolo. No, buwa baba, buwa buwa. I I detected the Zulu. I detected the Zulu. I I'm getting accommodated. No, buwa get a hood long. Right. Hey, what's going on? I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Okay. So, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, we're trying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Zama. <laughs> Zama. So, good. Which one is this one? <laughs> when was the... When was the first time you realized that the Lomkulo Wako, it transcends just Zulu culture and also goes on to other cultures. Because I know your music from like deep rural yes, yes, in, yes. in Limpopo, you know, mm. people will listen to that and sing along, you know, the same way with the same Zulu I have, mm. but they will try their best to sing along to your music. So when did you start realize that your music is not just for your culture, but it's South African? Mm. There was no way you, you were going to ask all of that know. in Zulu. There was no way. <laughs> you, so, you, I, you, you know, Pastor Mr. Nguyen, yeah, Job okay. Ashu, I'm going to uh, introduce you to Shilugu to Uzewa and Apeche. Yes. So, yes. in terms of, like, you realize that you have to go to the next level. Thanks for translation. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I realized the time I'm, uh, after singing that song, uh, I spoke about Ichele. Ichele, yes. Uh, that song says... Uh, yes. if, you are, if some of people are afraid to get into Mary and because they think maybe the maybe they will the become world. a slave there, so maybe you are afraid to. Ne? <laughs> so when I'm saying umshato, it's not a jail. Ne? It's like it's a message that goes. Sure. You understand? Yes. So it's where I started to. Uh, like Habandu Bagwe Zingenda or being recognized because of a message. Because the message, I know go to Uban, Uban, the message is for us all. Because marriage is universal. It's universal. Jail yes. is universal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, Talking Zero. about first, uh, Mr. Honorable. Honorable, you are the first person to be named after two presidents. Am I right? <laughs> don't know. That could be true. Hey? That could be true. But in South Africa, I think I am the only one. Ah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, this I do. Yeah. There's, there's no yeah. Tabo Mandel. Uh, uh, I mean, there's a Tabo. Ah. Uh, 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 what made you take that gap? So you, 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 realize, you realize there was a gap. What, 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 what pushed you to take that, uh, what do you call it, that opportunity, to take an advantage of that opportunity? Uh, Shucks, it's a combination of many things. One of them, I was frustrated, obviously, in my job. So I was working as an account manager yeah. in the digital industry. And I had also picked up a camera. So I used to play around with cameras as a kid. And then I picked up a camera for 5,000 Rand in Santin and I started taking photos and I started realizing the photos we're using in our own marketing to, to me, in fact, was not relevant to me. So I would see a BMW in a left-hand drive or I would see a meal that's from the, U, from the US or a different country that wasn't relatable to sure. me. So I started taking a lot of photos and banking them and then I started opening a website, a company and went through the whole process and yeah, I've opened the first stock photo platform in South Africa. So you've been banking all these photos. For sure. And I mean, Standard. look, the, the platform... Standard. <laughs> Standard. What <in> Georgia? <laughs> uh, the, the platform is only not, not just open to me only. It's actually open to every single body that's even here. Anybody that's got a cell phone in their hand mm. and you know how to take a photo. You submit a photo and you actually get paid if somebody buys your photo. So if I that find some stock images that I think could be useful, because we're always looking for images like that, like... Uh, black person running for sure and then you looked and then so if i take a picture of like someone running i can upload it to your platform oh yeah and for if sure. people use my image i could make a bit of money so let me just give you a little bit of a, a background so i mean you could literally walk outside take a picture of a bird and it's a beautiful bird standard bank says we love that image so much we actually want to buy it and you put it up on the site maybe for ten thousand rand if you want to and ten thousand people buy it every time some people buy it you make money obviously we make some money too but you always make money every time somebody buys your photo and to Give you an, I mean, 
I don't know much about prices and billboards, but if you look at billboard, just a picture of a billboard, somebody's probably renting that for 600K a month and that's your picture on there. So you no can already worries. see the magnitude of your picture and what it can communicate yeah. um, and what it really means. And people are willing to pay billboards for, uh, for your picture. Oh man, no, that's that, powerful. That's it's a powerful first, my brother. So yeah. you were saying it's something you you saw it, and then you realized that you can't relate to these things, right? For sure. So how did you come about thinking? Like a lot of people see a problem, but they never think, "Let me be the solution." They rather just complain about the problem. So what was that turning point for you? Sure. Uh, this is in 2007, I think, or just before that. Again, as I say. I was literally frustrated at my job and my manager literally has t told me something really bad. And I realized I was making money off these images, bro. I was literally making more than my salary, selling to people generally. Um, going What's the salary? The salary is in? Ching! Salary is always good, but yeah, I was earning more than my salary, to be honest. And then, you know, I realized through pictures, I was literally selling pictures to agencies because I had experience in agencies. I'd be like, yo, I took a nice picture, go check it out. And they'd be like, oh, Getty would pay 6,000 Rand for that. We can pay you too. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. This is actually a good turning point. And I was making more money and I decided, let's go. I see you've got tattoos. Was that your first one there? Uh. Uh, funny enough, actually, this is my mother's uh, initials and birth, birth date, rather. Uh, but yeah, that was my first tattoo, yeah. That's beautiful, man. And this one on the front? Uh, impossible is nothing. And then this is a koi fish, which stands for strength and adversity. Oh, koi fish. Yeah, koi fish. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that. Koi fish, pops. Koi. 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 Aish! Aish! What's the significance of a koi fish? Uh, when I got it, I actually got it for strength and adversity, so that's what it stands for. Aish. Strength Come and on adversity. now. Strength and adversity. That's right. Yeah. Just, why? I think I've got the strength to carry out this stock photo platform and no, make it I'm the biggest the in the world. Is it strong? <laughs> no, I'm strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I put the fish on here to remind me that I'm strong. I've got perseverance. Oh, can, can, oh, can you yeah. swim? Of course. All in right. In fact, funny enough, I was the only black swimmer in my school. The first black swimmer. The first. Or the only black swimmer in my school. Yeah, the first yeah. black swimmer in my school. That's another first. <laughs> All about first, ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen. gentlemen. The first man to fill up Moses Mabida and the first man to swim successfully at Macaulay House. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please put your hands together for the legends themselves. Let's hear it for Kuzani and, and the one and only Cyril Zuma. Oh, hallelujah. Bonga mean I'm fed to make random fed so slang on a la position. She said, I mean, talk on fetching them shows to put some clothes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, we are hey, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much, bro. Like A lot, dog. What, what those significant moments mean to all of us. Yep. You know, your first isn't necessarily the thing you get. It's the thing you could achieve. Yeah. It could be a growth point in your life. Yeah. Which makes me so excited about our next guest, bro. Yeah. She's a trainer. She's a trainer. Yeah, no, this one, like, you know when you have those kind of bios that seem like CVs? Yeah, the bio's, like, the bio's like a CV. Yeah, you know when the bio says everything, like, oh, I'm a trainer. What's his do, trainer? Do, do they ever do that when they introduce you? Do they read like a bio? He started his career dancing on Chiga Machiga. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh, uh, no, I'm asking. Which one is this one? I'm Which asking. one is that one? No, sometimes they, they name like the first three talents and then they say many more. <laughs> because, yeah, bro. Titi. Okay. <laughs> Master trainer with a Nike. Master trainer with Nike? Yeah, but I want you guys to do that. Woo! You know, like, Master yeah. trainer with Nike. Woo! Industrial psychologist. Woo! Come on now. And a fitness coach. Woo! Aye. The one and only Zakira. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hey. Uh, I'm telling the truth. Which one is this one? Like uh. Shakira. <laughs> yes, but with us. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus. Please grab a mic. Please grab a mic and correct some Titi. popcorn if you want. If you'd like some popcorn. Yes, it's. It must have butter salt. Butter salt. Mm. It's got uh, cheese. Production. Please. Are we just having Zab by ourselves? No, we've got another guest. Okay. Um, 
This is also our last guest. Uh, Is it Banele? Is it Dolphias Mabena? Agnes Chakonda? Is it Jacob Lizenke? Is it, uh, is, is it Jacob Ramaphosa? Oh, this, ah. this, is, this is the scariest person in the, in the podcast. Okay. The yeah. scariest person to any person in an in, 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 in official job. Okay. Because he's an HR enthusiast. Yay. Oh. <laughs> we were the one and only Luyanda Duma. Make some noise for Luyanda, Luyanda Duma, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Jesus. HR enthusiast. 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 Yeah. HR enthusiast. enthusiast. Luyanda Duma. Duma. <laughs> Luyanda Duma. I won't lie. All right, so ladies, I'm going to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself and tell the people who you are and what it is that you do. Do that. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yo, yo. Um, Hi. <laughs> yes. Hi. Um, I'm Zakir Akalik. Um, I am an industrial psychologist or was an industrial psychologist. I'm also an entrepreneur, a coach, a master trainer at Nike. Um, yeah. At nice. Nike. Yeah. So, nice. Mm. So when you live for health? I live for health, I coach for health, and I run for health as well. I like to run. You like Thank to you. run? Mm. I also like to run. Pop said he's doing comrades next year, so we're all going to make sure secret. we keep our eye on him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting like... it out there. <laughs> all right. Shout okay. Out. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, HR activist, Ms. Duma. Tell us uh, who you yes. are, what do you do for the livings? Uh, Duma, uh, born and bred in Durban. I am a former industrial psychologist graduate. <laughs> um, I'm an HR enthusiast, which basically mm -hmm. means that I'm a fan of human capital. Mm -hmm. I develop people for a living. I'm a talent manager. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a speaker. I'm a facilitator. I'm a lover of conversation. Oh, nice. Go. Zakira, I want to start with you. When was that moment you realized? When was, you know, most of us always say, ah, I'll go to the gym. Ah, I'll exercise. Tomorrow. Ah, I'm going to get into next shape week. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Next year. When did it all begin for you? When did your fitness journey start? Sure. Um, a lot of people ask me this question, and I struggle to pinpoint the moment. But, I mean, I've always been athletic in... In preschool, I was a sprinter. In high school, I was a sprinter. I'm sorry, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. While other kids were singing songs, building the temple, <laughs> building <laughs> the way that you were running. Running. <laughs> You were a sprinter in preschool. In preschool, it started. Okay. In, in high school, I took it a bit more seriously. I ran a bit in varsity. Uh -huh. um, and then after varsity, I saw this, this picture. Um, guys, I had a Blackberry. So I used to like Google images of all these fitness models. Uh -huh. And I saw this lady with like, she's so defined, her body was so amazing. And I was like, all right, now I'm going to start strength training. So I think it just happened after varsity. Just after varsity. Yeah. yeah. Were you the nice. fastest in your crash? <laughs> <laughs> Were you the fastest in your crash? I was indeed. Oh, yes. <laughs> Miss Duma. I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> But with everything you've mentioned, you can run for president. Of course, yes, definitely. Now that's up my alley. That's up your alley? Yeah. Talk to us about a unique first in your life. I've had so many, but I think the one that is resonating now with my journey is being a first-time mom. Oh, um, first congratulations, Michelle and Isanda. Yes. Thank Me you. Me 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 Just because we have four each. Uh, 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 I've got a boy. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> How old? Four months. Ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brand new. Brand new Fresh. from the box. And I'm also newly engaged, so that's a first for me. Hello! And the last. Yeah. <laughs> first born, first Makoti. Yes. Alili. Hey, <laughs> hey Sambongela, you've done well, Gideon. Gideon. <laughs> if you're watching this, congratulations. <laughs> How long did you date Gideon before? Uh, Less than a year. Seven years. A year. Less than a year. 
Less oh, than a wow. year. Oh, wow. So when you know, you know. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> hey, that of course was serious. Eh? I know, right? <laughs> Who said of course? Can we see your... is married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes, you were telling us about your first... Uh, your, your, your being a first-time mom. Yes, I'm absolutely loving it. I think there's beauty. It's the beauty and the beast. So... Um, there's this author called Brene Brown, and she writes a book oh, about her. daring. I love her too. Mm-hmm. Daring greatly, where she speaks about the messiness and the beauty in being in the mess. So I think that speaks to what motherhood is about, where it's such a beautiful thing, but also you're learning so much and you're facing so many challenges, but it's that beauty in the mess. So that's the season that I'm currently in. I'm definitely enjoying it. I think I'm also experiencing a different type of a relationship as well, which is great. So my priority right now is just to focus on my child and focus on my husband. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah. That is so beautiful. (laughs) Zakira... You know, with where you grew up, the community that you're from, um, how many people were there that were like the person you wanted to aspire to be? Sure. So I actually grew up in Mayfair, which is like just down the road. Um, Mm -hmm. Back then, a lot of women didn't strength train. They, I mean, a lot of women were scared to um, and... You know, I think that was always my motivation for getting into this type of career um, because I saw what it done for me and my confidence and it translated to, like, my career as well. So in 2016, I was actually an HR business partner for, like, eight years and then I started, you know, making the necessary steps to leave corporate and then eventually opened up my gym last year. And I opened up my gym with the sole purpose to create a space for women to train and feel comfortable to train. So there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Thank you. There's a lot of ladies that are trained that um, wear hijab and niqab. So when they come to the gym, it's their space. And they can take it all off and feel as comfortable as can be. And I think that's what gave me purpose in my job. Yes, because yeah. sure. yeah. I think because a, a friend of mine, uh, Leila, she, because I remember she used to, where we were staying, she would say to me that she'd always ask if there was anyone in the gym mm. because she couldn't, uh, according to, to, to her culture, she said she couldn't train if yes. there were men yes. in the gym. Yeah. So we always had to sort of like book out the gym for her. I think, you know, you can train as a Muslim woman, you can train in the gym if there are men, but it's very difficult because you have to always make sure you are covered. You're covered yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I think it's just a, it's a, probably a preference to train when there's no men and yeah. where you can just feel comfortable. Take off the hijab and just feel comfortable. What is your gym called? Where is it? So my gym is called Tribe Fitness Studio. It's uh-huh. in Saxon World. I mostly Aish. specialize. Yeah. yeah. Aish. 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 It's, next, Aish. it's next door the tavern. Aish. It's around the corner from Gupta's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, around the corner. Yeah, around the corner. Back opposites. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So we mostly specialize in. I don't know if anyone knows CrossFit. You know CrossFit. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. So we do CrossFit, hit, bodybuilding. We run. Um, we do Olympic weightlifting, snatches, jerks, deadlifts, squats, you name it. If there's a barbell, we're going to throw it around. Nice. Mm, yeah. And talking about fests, aren't you looking for your first male member? <laughs> My first one. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you feeling like this? So it's strictly for ladies? No, no, no. I train. It's, there's ladies' classes and there's mixed classes. As oh, okay, well. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, Robot, we can yeah, go, you check, can it go out. check it out. <laughs> All right. Yes. Me, me, I'm a gym up, bro. We gym up, play weight. Look at my Instagram. I run every morning. Yeah. Where and how far? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm and a, what's the pace? I'm about to Which flex, one is this I'm one? About to flex on you. I've always wanted to say this. Do so, it. So I used to be a semi-pro athlete uh, running at Vince. Right? Uh, uh, <laughs> you wanna look at my potries, dog? <laughs> Which one is this one? So yeah, I used to be a semi-pro athlete running at Vince. I once beat Wade Van Dyke. Ah, tizia, we need receipts for that. Tizia, tizia. <laughs> in a cross country race, I beat him in a cross country race. Wait for the car. I beat him. Wow. Yeah. Then you were fast. Why did you stop? I, I didn't have the discipline yeah. to become an athlete. But now, you know, I need it for health, so I'm doing it again. Now, now he is an adventure, uh, uh. adrenaline athlete. You know why? 
What? Guess where he jogs every morning? Where? Walkerville. Uh. <laughs> My dog, this tiger's on the loose. Thing. Why would you jog at Walkerville? Because <laughs> I run Walkerville. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we say goodbye to these two lovely ladies, I want to know from our first time mom, first time Makoti, first time recipient of Lobola. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what is what is what has been besides motherhood in your career, what has been that that defining moment, that that moment that you know we, we talk about it as a an a I've arrived moment. I've achieved. I've achieved. What, what significant thing happened in your life that led you to that moment? I think it happens every day as an HR enthusiast as well as a talent manager. Being able to bring structure into someone's career, uh-huh. uh, being able to effectively manage someone, signing big deals, signing big checks, seeing these people you know, fully step into themselves because that's my role is to assist you and push you in that direction. So that's when I've, you know... Realize, it's okay, I've made it. When I see Oscar perform as his best self, when I see a Tuli P, you know, killing a set, when I see any of my influences landing, you know, big deals, for me, that's an aha moment to say, you're on the right track, you're doing the, you know, you're doing everything that you need to be doing to make sure that these people are thriving in their career. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful words from two beautiful ladies. Titi, you look like you had something to say. Yeah, I want to say, like, what's, what, how do, what's your process of choosing? Because um, obviously there's a lot of cheese gang that might, you know, potentially be interested in the kind of services that you offer, especially to artists, because there are yes. a lot of artists out there. So what is your criteria of looking at the and saying, no, this one I can achieve with this one? I really look for authentic um, talent. Um, I'm not too specific in terms of you need to be a musician, you need to be a DJ. Um, you literally can be a psychologist. I've got a psychologist on my pool of people. And I think I'm just looking for that hunger to create something and to create a stable career from your talent. And I think if you are, you've got the heart, you've got the passion, you've got you know, the tenacity and the strength to work hard, um, then you're somebody that's aligned to work with us. So you can follow my business as Alchemy Lab on Instagram, on Twitter as well. You pop us a DM, pop us an, um, an email of who you are, what you do, and what exactly you're looking for. Also, the big thing is alignment. So what you're looking for, can we offer it? Can we do it? Um, and that's a big definer of whether or not we are able to work with you. And then quickly, Zakria, where can everyone find you? Um, they can find me on Instagram, uh-huh. Tribe Fitness Studio, or mm-hmm. Zax underscore K. And then the website is tribefitness.co.za. Fantastic. Super Ladies dope. and gentlemen, Thank you we are sitting with two incredible achievers here. Please uh, make some noise. Give it up for the one and only, the lady who's rocking a beautiful two-piece blue suit with a botanical garden finish on the side. <laughs> Let's hear it for the one and only, Miss Duma. And of course, a lady who's had a potris since crash. crash. Let's hear it for Zakira, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. Titi. Titi Marie. Titi, Titi Marie. Titi. Yeah. Titi. I get we're going to sign out. <laughs> this is the weirdest podcast ever. Yeah. Ever, actually. All right. Ladies and gents, today yep. has been a day of firsts. For the first time on our podcast, yep. we broadcast live to an audience. Yes, sir. We broadcast live to a studio audience. It was the first time we had a fully sponsored episode on popcorn and cheese. We want to send a big shout out to Standard Bank. Thank yes, you sir. so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have- Remember, Achiever is now available. If you're not sure about anything, please visit all our social media platforms, Standard Bank SA at Standard Bank ZA. Make sure you use the hashtags, hashtag it can be, hashtag SB Love. Jump onto the website if there's anything you need to know. You sitting there at home today, you too are an achiever. There comes a time in your life when you need to get that first car, that first house, that first suit that costs more than the one you have from Markham's. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to be a part of those fests. We want to be the person you achieve things with. We are your achiever. Make sure you visit us at stenabank.co.za. 
And of course, ladies and gentlemen, Sia Achiva, Runara Achiva. Yeah. We've got one speaking, more. Yeah, guest. speaking of first, it's the first time we have actual popcorn on popcorn and cheese, by the way. Yes, the last guest. Mutlats. Aish! Ladies and gentlemen, the epitome of swag, the epitome of style, the personification of leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Please. when this man walks the halls of Standard Bank, ululation fills the air. Flates come from everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, a man who used to drive a Hyundai gets, but through hard work, perseverance, and dedication, <laughs> now drives a Range Rover. Please put your hands together, make some noise, give it up. Make some noise for the one and only Mutati Mkala. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Professor yeah, yeah. X himself. Aish. Professor X. If Professor X wasn't on a wheelchair. Professor. Uh, 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 nah. Malume Mutlati. Malume. <laughs> One, two. Can't call me Malume. Mutlati, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Extremely you excited, yeah. How excited about, are you about this new offering? Yeah, I'm really excited because I remember when we started to do the work probably about 18 months ago. Yeah. You know, when people don't believe that we actually can deliver this. Mm -hmm. So even yesterday when we were going through, you know, things and preparing and I was like, uh, I'm not sure if, you know, we will deliver this. But when I walked in in the morning and I saw everything, I thought, yeah, no, we've, we've made it. So very excited about it. I think one of the things that I'm excited about, it is so true about who we are, but also so true to each and every person's story. Yes. Because yep. all of us have got the first story, but all of us also might have someone that uh, were enabling to have their first. Yes. Yeah. So it is so integral to who we are and what we do. So yes. that's why I'm excited. And I think I'm excited about it because... I was also reflecting about where I come from. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, wow, actually, almost most of South Africans who almost have a similar story. Yeah. Um, where do you come from? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I come from Tembisa. Yo! Sorry, sorry, that came uh, out uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> do we have Tembisa in the house? Uh, yeah. Tembisa I, in the house? Do we have Tembisa in the house? No, man, they're uh, all at the airport. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so, yeah. uh, uh, so, so you, I you come from Tembisa. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I come from Tembisa. My father is Venda from Venda. Yo. And my grandfather's from Mozambique. Yo, so, so your father is Venda. Venda. My grandfather, grandfather from Mozambique. Mozambique. My grandmother from Lesotho. Yo, so you are the first South African. You are the first. Uh, no. you are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the main South African. <laughs> Which one is this one? The family tree is seven colors. Uh, <laughs> they need invitation letters from you. And, and what kind of upbringing did you have in Tembisa? Yeah, Besides was... hearing Spoo selling cans of Mofaya uh, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. At that time when I grew up, Spoo was not there. He was probably still uh, dreaming about it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, no, I, I come from... A, a, you know this story. I never want to speak about it because but there's I don't a want first to for everything. It, yeah. There's a first for you. There's a but, first time for everything. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's the same story. Poor family, four room house. Yes, government house where you are like twelve. In the in the, in house. the house, your uncles, their wives, yourselves. Everyone sleeps. In, yeah. When you sleep time, in different when places. When it's time to sleep, it's yeah. a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes. No, in actual fact, at some point you would, you know, dirty washing in a basket. Yeah. You'd put it on the floor as a sponge. Oh wow! Hey, yes. Wow. So, so and that's why I, come I used to from. sleep in the wardrobe sometimes. No, Mark, sleep. your mother was a was a mistress, oh. <laughs> was a ma'am. Oh. Oh, you had a government house, <laughs> you know that fancy one. So don't. Yeah, so I come from there. So my upbringing was uh, difficult, but also joyous. So uh -huh. joyous in a way that um, 
I played properly like a child, so mm-hmm. I did that. Joyous because of I always looked forward to go to school because yes. I think being at school was the space for me to be free sure. and forget about everything else and do what I, I enjoyed, which was books. Funny enough, I, I enjoyed school from primary school all the way. So, so that was quite, yeah, uh, the, the upbringing I had. Um, and yeah, high school as well. Also, I was quite independent as well. So I had to learn to be independent from primary school. Okay. So I'm that kid who goes to school at seven, so seven years old, on your own, to school, come back, do your homework, do everything, because my grandparents Without as well. people telling my, you. Yeah, because my grandparents sure. as well were not literate, so you do things on your own. Yes, um, yes, yes. Even having to find a high school, so I had to find my high school on my own. And go apply. And go and apply and on my to, own. And pretend that you had written the letter as your parents. Uh, parents. I, I can't comment My dad that. was I, saying... I went for a bank. I can't comment. <laughs> uh, uh, Can my child... Uh, 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 yeah, so, so that yeah, so that was my upbringing. So the difficulty of it also was sort of a, a blessing as well. Because I yes. think it helped me to it look forward. Yeah, to look forward to what life could be. I didn't even know what it could be, but... It actually made me look forward to it. And what's that significant first, you feel like you're coming from a household and a family that you've described to all of us. What's that significant first that you achieved coming out of that situation? Uh, So the significant first would have been uh, obviously me uh, getting metric. Yes. But getting metric with exemption to go to university. I sure. I sure. Isanta, (laughs) Isanta. Hey, the jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. And then, were you, were you the first to get a metric? Okay. No, no. So my brother was the first. He actually failed metric, I think, three or four times. So he did it like a university degree. Yeah, but that inspired me, in actual fact, because his resilience, like, he went and he went. He kept going. He kept until going. Until he, he got it, he yeah. Going. So I was the first, I was the second for metric, but the first to go to university. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. And coming from a family like that, a background like that, how was it enjoying those firsts in your life? Your, your first, I mean, living with 12, other, 11 other people. How was it getting your first house? How was it getting your first car? Yeah. So let's start with my first salary. Aye! Dango! I Time's think, three. no, remember, when you come from university, I mean, people who went to Tesha, you know our, our allowance that you have. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So you get like some, you know, tiny yeah, it's sum enough, of it's, money. It's enough for noodles. So when and... we got our first salary, and I remember, uh, at that time, the bank had not sorted our bank account, so they paid us in a check. Yo. So yo. I had to go to Standard Bank to withdraw. It was a lot of money. <laughs> withdraw and walk across to APSA to deposit it. I think yeah. for me... That started to open my eyes to say, yo, okay. It means that the stuff that one has been working towards, Mm -hmm. this is it. This is where it is. So that was, I think, a momentous moment for me that started to open my eyes. That actually, I'm as as, uh, sort of a... a um, Don't take the 12 years and 14 years of studying and the gap years I had for granted. Yes. The second one... First job, yes. obviously Standard Bank was my first job. Aye! Yeah. Aye! Standard. Aye! So, Aye! So I've been with the bank for about 16 years now. First no job, I've never moved ways. Here. Then uh, two months into my job, I went to get a license, then bought a car. Hala, hala. First car. Wait, you bought the license or you bought the car? No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh-uh, oh, Pops. No, I uh, work for a bank. We do things proper. Don't go. <laughs> yes. And what car was this? Um, so because I was in a grad program. Hey, uh, hey, yeah, yeah. hey. You know when they start explaining. The car, yeah. What no. car was it? So before I had no, to get the car, wait. I was trying to... Wait. <laughs> so everyone, uh-huh. the first car people get was a Polo. Don't go. Yes. So when we get to meetings and what, you know, it's a Polo, Polo, Polo. I'm like, no way. I went to get a car because, not of the car, but because of the key. The key was a card. Citroën? No. Oh. I wanted a Citroën, but I got a Miguel. Yeah, it's a check of savings. It's Citroën, eh? Yeah. Also, the Miguel, uh, shake know. it to yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So yes. that, for me, the key was everything. That's why I bought that car. So you got a Renault Miguel? Uh, I got a Renault Miguel, yeah. And then I took it to home to my mother. 
garage. Yeah. And then they then they did prayed for like, him, into but the car, navy. yeah, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, so I got to so I got outside. Yeah, we did. Uh, nobody came out because they don't expect anyone yes. with a car. So I came home, like how I'm hooting. They're like, yeah, we're hearing the hoot. We're like, you have a fun about a stradain. Can't it you was know? you. Then I'm like, was a it. Yeah, but to see her reaction to it, to me was everything because it was saying, um, for me, it was that I was confirming that this is the start yeah. again mm-hmm. of more to come. Um, but very important that I take my first, my, all the cars when I buy them, I go to my mother. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. yes. All the cars. All, all of them. And how yeah. many trips are those? <laughs> how many what? <laughs> how many trips to your mother? To my mother. Yeah. Uh, so far, four hey. trips. Hey. 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 Yes. Hey. Hey. Oh, hallelujah. Four first times. Yeah. All right. Jesus. And uh, your first space, getting that first space, moving out of a 12-people household. How was that experience for to you, a, just having your own space? To a 12 room? Yeah, so... so I grew up with my grandparents, mm-hmm. and then my mother then had a, uh, had to move to Ivory Park. So she then stayed in a shack. So when I started Standard 6... Hey, can age see how old revealed. I am. Yeah, no, grade standard eight. 6, standard grade eight. 8, yeah. Grade 8. So I moved in with her, so standard I stayed, I stayed with her. And uh, about maybe three years in that, we got an RTP house. Oh, nice. Yeah, so then that was the sort of a first home with my mother. Um, yeah, before I moved to my own home. So, you know, yeah, you I went into a relationship and then I moved in with my partner. Yeah. Um, but then I had to buy my mother a house first. Oh, yeah. So I bought my mom a house. Very important. Yes. Yeah. That is very yes. important. You take care of home first. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, once I bought my mother fa- uh, the home in 2016, because we're staying in an apartment, I've always had a dream of a pool, trees. So, yeah, so we got a pool, trees, and the creek. Ice. Yes. Ice. Come on. So Ladies and gentlemen, we are speaking to the head of Middle Market at Standard Bank, the one and only Mutazi Mkalala. Why must people get this Achiever account? Um, so I'm going to potentially maybe talk about the two truths that we've learned in the process of putting this together. So the one is, in the, maybe in a way that we understand, we don't want to have a situation of ugitila. Yeah. You know what I mean? So where people work so hard, but they don't, they don't have a legacy they leave behind. Yep. If they leave it behind, people fight over it because we have not planned properly. So that's the first. So you want to make sure that the next generations will have a better life yes. than what you had. Yes. Because that's what we, we, we work towards. The second one as well is that about 6% of South Africans will retire comfortably. The rest of us are going to depend on government grants. Mm-hmm. It's a difficult step to, to, to get. Swallow. So yeah. sure. what we want to do is to make sure that people can retire comfortably so that they don't have to buy... Their kids don't have to buy homes for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's an important thing because we don't want to... We want to, you know, when we break generational curses, yes. we are saying you have to start life without debt. Yes. But you don't have to be solving generational problems. So yeah. th- that's the second truth that we, we went in on this one. So why people must get it is because we are saying we will guarantee, we will help you... Uh, achieve your first or your first car, your first home, but we want to help you make it last mm. as well. So practically, what does that mean? So Achiever in itself, it's an offering with lots of uh, solutions, right? So you've got a transactional account. Obviously, you need that to transact. The second piece is that we will give you a free will. Why a free will? Because if I've got a car or a home, I need to make sure that I can pass it over to someone. Mm-hmm. When I get the free will, we also say, um, with your transactional account, we'll also give you free 10,000 rands funeral cover, just in case if anything happens, so that you don't also bury people or you don't get buried with debt. So mm-hmm. we start there. Yeah. With the wheel as well, we've got a, 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 within the solution box, we've got what we call a flexi life. Yes. Because when you leave a home behind, people, what they don't know, 
is that the people who leave them with the house, when we say, I give you the house, they also need to have money to register the house into their names. Oh, yes. okay. So you register Interesting. a house. You need money to you register need, the yeah. house. So for, you, for it to move from your mother who has passed to you, to you, to you it needs it sort of like a transfer cost. It has to go to the cost. office. You have yeah. lawyers, so there's money that needs to be paid. How much is so that registration? It depends on the value depends, of the house. Yeah, yeah. It depends but on the a lot of, of people, because they don't know, you find a lot of family homes are not, I have not passed title mm. because people don't have the money to, to get it. Yeah. Okay. And you know, if you don't have the money to, for the house to pass title, it means, for example, um, if you had a dream to do, to do podcasts like this and you needed to access capital from that house, now you can't because it's not in your name. Mm. Yeah, I'm, you I'm see, going, I'm going through what you're talking about. Yeah. So my father, my biological father, unfortunately passed. And uh, I had to, I found out that I had to, you know, the house was, I'm the only heir. Yeah. But I found out that you have to actually cough out something. Correct. To, to get the house. So for a very long time, I, I just locked it. <laughs> and left it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Who it is. So now I know. Now I'm going to yeah. go get this capital and rock the house. Yeah. So last things, maybe two of the things that I think why this offering Remember we said you, you will help you get your first and make them last. Yeah. A lot of us, I liked um, the guy who was here, the sort of forgot his name, the teacher. The teacher. Uh, Dalino. 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 So Dalino said his credit score or his credit profile was a mess for a long time. Yeah, it took him long to... A lot of us don't know what our credit score is worth or what it is, what's the number or what we need to do. Yes. So we've built money management tool in the Standard Bank app which firstly will show you your credit score. Every month it will show you if it's deteriorating, i.e. When you, when you don't pay a loan or, you know, it will, it will go down. So we'll also give you tips on how to make sure that you maintain it at the level where when you go and borrow, it's like first time you're approved. Yeah. Um, we also have a, a budgeting tool that sets your budget automatically from your bank statement. Um, we also have a, a, a capability to show you your net worth well, we can show that show, we show you that you are a negative or you are mm -hmm. a positive uh -huh. because it says now I can take steps to, to get to the point where I'm at a positive net worth because I'm paying off my debts, you know, I'm managing my budget. So that's a, a so, sort of a, the tool also that comes with the proposition. So these are the reasons why you, you would have to take this offering because it is truly dedicated to say, we're starting the journey with you uh -huh. all the way to when you pass the legacy, your legacy to your next generation. Oh, that Makes is sense. beautiful. Yeah. Wise words from a wise man, ladies and gentlemen, head of middle market at Standard Bank, the one and only Mklatsi Mkalala, Asim Shalini Zandra. Thank you so much for all the hard work and dedication that went into this. Because of Motlatsi, you too can also be an achiever. Make sure you visit us at standardbank.co.za to find out more on the Achiever offering. Motlatsi, Arumu Shapeleng Matsoko, let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What is your job? Aich! One of them is Perry. Snake shoes. Snake shoes, a fest. Shayle, boots, your anaconda. A fest. <laughs> Church, the church feet, I won. He slithered out. <laughs> he slithered out. <laughs> How do you polish snake skin? Not your shy offering. Like olive oil. Doing. Ah, 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 pops. Ah, ah. So, ladies and gentlemen, S standard bank. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the crowd here is getting rowdy. We did promise them free food after the shoot. <laughs> and uh, we've taken so much of their time. So we'd like to uh, take this moment to thank all our beautiful guests for coming and sharing their first. So let's give a big round of applause to all our guests here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. All right. Also want to take this time, ladies and gentlemen, to thank Standard Bank. Big thank you to Standard Bank uh, for coming through, being a partner with uh, Popcorn and Cheese and creating this unique first for, for ourselves and yep. the Cheese Gang and yes, our sir. viewers. This, this was nice. This was amazing, Yeah, bro. a big shout out to everybody that came to sit on the Standard Bank suite couches. 
and give us their stories and tell us their first. We hope everybody that's watching and everybody that's present learned something and is going to take something home to continue achieving and continuing being an example, especially to the people whoa, around whoa, you. Whoa, 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 Robert. Nera Saman. Nera. See, this is what free alcohol does. Cyril Zuma. And Cyril. Uh, on that point of order, leadership, uh, I would like you to continue the closing. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our episode. Big shout out and thank you to everyone that came out last week to the Poor Pops birthday comedy special. Thank you so much for each and, each and every one of you who bought tickets to the show. Thank you for everyone that came. We had an epic night. It was amazing. Thank you so much. So the 10th dope. of June was a night to it remember. So dope. Thank you so much for coming Empress out. Empress Palace. Yeah. It was amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, from me, the corn that pops. And the cheese, that's great. We are Robo Pops. And Njenge Mali Epuma ATM. We are out. out. to make today 7th of November mm -hmm. 2020. Give it up for the one and only Saw Peluga. So the next milestone, Saul, are you ready for this? We're trying to fill up uh, Sun Pet Arena in Pretoria for our one million subscribers what? event. One million? One million. Hey, hey but I'm scared Peluga. about this one, Saul. You heard it for yourselves. Lois O'Connor said popcorn and cheese is better who? than podcast and chill. Did I say that? Yes, 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 yes you did. I feel like every time I come to Centurion, there's like, there's like an apartheid soundtrack in my head. And the part of apartheid was? What? Back. Back in the cut. Like, you're not even interested at a dinner table. What makes you think? If it was mess, guys, that stuff doesn't matter. Getting this. That's okay. I'm, Bro, that's, I'm, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> I'm sending camera a WhatsApp. On. You can't be sending a WhatsApp. Camera on. Yeah, but I'm saying like we don't want the same thing of last week. Yo. Yeah. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl and I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, and I'm a LOL. So we both got gang, and we blessed as hell. See a lala story. Pets and I'm a guest, and nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Yeah? Popcorn and cheese.